Well, g'day everyone, and welcome back to another David Maxwell Golf video, where today I have three brand new wedges from Callaway, but I need to know how to dial these wedges in and what my distances are with my lengths of backswing. So I'm gonna be using the DeWiz Golf Watch, and I'm gonna be going through a gear table, which I'm gonna throw up here, to dial in exactly each club with each gear. So each gear is gonna to equate to a different length of backswing. I'm gonna go 80 centimeters, 100 centimeters, and 120 centimeters with all three wedges, and that's gonna give me different distances. So when I'm on course, that's gonna do two things. One, it's gonna tell me exactly how far I hit each wedge, but it's also gonna tell me a variety of shots that I can use for different applications around the green or into the green. It's the perfect way to dial in your wedges, to get out of the thought processes of swing, swing thoughts and all that sort of stuff, and just become a lot more mechanical with your wedges, getting it closer to the pin. So, without further ado, let's jump into the 60 degree. Also, if you did wanna check out the DeWiz Golf Watch, I'm gonna put a link below, so you can uh, click that link and go check it out for yourself. It'll give you a bit of a discount. Also, the Callaway Red wedges, I'm gonna link below too, because these things are incredible. If you haven't tried these, go out and try them, and uh, get dialed in which is exactly what I'm doing. Let's go. All right, so what I'm gonna throw up on screen just right now for a second is your practice wedges. You can see that I've got the club, which is a 60, and my first practice goal is 80 centimeters plus or minus seven. I'm actually gonna edit that because I don't want plus or minus seven, maybe plus or minus three, I think will be acceptable, okay? I'm gonna go manual. You can go shuffle, so you can really train yourself to, to shuffle those wedge distances. I'm just trying to learn them here, so I'm just gonna go manual. Jumping into distance wedges, we are ready to go. All right, so what I've done is I've got the lob wedge there, 80 centimeters, the DeWiz is gonna tell me on the app as to whether I'm actually getting this or not. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep every shot on the DeWiz, but I'm only gonna keep the 80 centimeter shots that I hit clean on uh, Awesome Golf here because I wanna know my actual average of where those shots are. So let's get a feel for this. 80 centimeters is gonna be a bit of a guess to start with. So let's see how we go. Length of backswing, 104 centimeters. Okay, so that's 104 centimeters, so that is way too far. So we need to dial that back. I'm gonna delete that one because I wanna know my exact distances with the 80 centimeter backswing, not 100 centimeter backswing. 66. 66, so I've flattened in the middle. As you can see, I kind of pulled that. It's not as easy as what you might think, so you need to get a bit of a gauge, and that's where you your feels become reels with the DeWiz. It's a really intuitive piece of tech. 90. 90. So it's gonna even need to be more than that. Sorry, less than that. So I haven't even hit one really close yet. 88. 88. 84. 84. Okay, we're getting closer. 82. There we go. So that actually took quite a long time for me to find what 80 centimeters or 82 centimeters, I've got a three centimeter tolerance there was. So um, basically this is what we're looking at here and we can see that I've got a 41 meter carry. So hopefully now that I've felt exactly what that's like, I can kind of replicate that a bit more quickly. Length of backswing 89 centimeters. 89. So we can see I've gone up nine centimeters and I've actually gone further in distance. That's kind of the whole point of this. 82. 82, 43, I'm gonna hit one more. A little pulley that one. 82. 82 and we have 41.4 meters of carry. So I have deleted a lot of shots, but what you can see is as I'm jumping in here, you can see how tight that dispersion is when I'm actually getting it right. So let's try just get one more to make up five. Length of backswing 79 centimeters. 79 and we got 42.1. Okay, let's jump in and take a look at the averages. So we can see that my average carry distance is 42.1, but if you actually take a look at this, basically what I have, I have 41.4, 41.8, 41.2, um, and then 42.1, 43.8. 
So just by getting the right gear distance or the right length of backswing with a DeWiz golf watch, I'm able to really dial in those wedge shots. Now I hit a lot of shots that were deleted because they weren't on the right backswing length. But every time I hit the right backswing length, I am bang on that number, which is absolutely incredible. That's how you dial in wedges. Let's get to the 100 centimeter length. All right, so what we can do is we can go through and we can actually see all of our swings. So we've got 80 centimeters, 82 centimeters, 79 centimeters, they're all pretty good. 82 and then there was 82 again and 82 there. So we're not far away, but we can start those because we can actually go back and take a look at them later. All right, so now we're gonna go into the 100 centimeter gear. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Length of back swing 91 centimeters. 91, okay, so I need to go a little longer. 102. 102, that's really nice. So we can see that I've gone up by 20 centimeters in the length of backswing and I've gained just in there, probably 12, 13 meters of carry. 108. 108, so I hit that one a little bit further, literally a couple of centimeters further and I've got a couple of extra meters of distance in carry. 96. 96, I'm gonna leave that one in because it's within four meters. I actually hit that one really well. So that one's gone 59 meters, but it'll be interesting to see whether the rest are closer to that distance. 98. 98, it's a bit of a pull, but it was 98. See the distance is there. It's just now the club control. 101. 101, and again, we're banging in that vicinity. 98. Okay, so we can see the dispersion there is really good. If we go and jump in again to the numbers, we can see that basically that 100, 100 centimeter swing or 98 centimeter swing is gonna give me a rough carry on average of 57.3. Again, probably that first one, I just didn't hit as well. So if we deleted that out, because the rest are a lot more tighter together on the distance, we have an average carry of 58.1. So I would call that a 60 meter carry distance, basically if I was on the course using a 100 centimeter backswing. All right, so now if we jump into the 120 centimeter backswing, that's gonna be pretty easy for me, I think. I think that's pretty much my, my backswing distance with the 60 anyway. So we'll run through this and then, uh, and then I'll get the other ones done. And we're gonna take it to the approach section with these numbers, see how we go. 118. 118 and we got a 70 meter carry, which is Pretty much bang on what I would have thought a 60 degree would go for me on course with that style of swing. 123. 123. And I got a little bit more out of it. So 78, I've gone probably up five centimeters. Got eight, diff eight meters difference. I hit that one a bit better too. 118. 118 again. And I'm bang on that 70 meter mark. 121. That's good. I actually hit that really good too. Compress that well. So that should be, yeah. I was going to say that should be about that 80 meter mark. The others I didn't really compress that well. That one I did. 122. 122. I'd say that'd be up around that 80 meter mark as well. Yep, 74. Kind of in the middle. We're a little bit, which is no surprise as my swing gets longer here with a, with a 60 degree dispersion wise front to back, I'm, I'm getting much different because of my strike. Not the backswing, but the strike. That was beautiful, that was the best strike that I've hit. 75.6, okay, so let's just take a look at this dispersion basically on those three shots. So the first two were perfect, but the last one with the 60, the last one with the 60, as I'm trying to lengthen my backswing, is a little bit more erratic. The front to back dispersion is definitely broader. And that's not because of the backswing length because I've only been having the backswing length that was my target backswing length in those numbers. But what that means is it's showing me that as I'm lengthening my backswing with the lob wedge, I'm getting inconsistencies. Now I can work on that and I can practice the strike location and get that dispersion to tighten up. Or as I go up into my sandwich and I use this gear system, I might find the same distance 
but a lot more uh, accurate and a lot more consistent using the 56 degree instead of the 60 for that same distance. That's exactly why you do this. So let's jump into that. Target 80 centimeters. So this is a sand wedge. I'm not gonna labor on this too much with you. So I'll do the sand wedge and then we'll go into the practice sessions and I'll throw my, uh, my numbers actually in that chart. I'm gonna go and do it all myself properly so I can take some time on it. You're just gonna have to trust me that they're right, but you will definitely see overlap. That's why we do this. Length of backswing 78 centimeters. 78 centimeters, I forgot to get out of that screen. What do we got? So we've got to carry a 66 meters for a 78 centimeter backswing. So that's that overlap that I was talking about. So the same length of backswing, I'm getting a lot further distance because I'm using a different club. 84. 84, I'm gonna take that. 84, I think that's pretty good. And 66 meters of carry again. So 84 is four centimeters out. I've got my perimeter set on three. I'm gonna take, take 84, that's pretty good. 84. 84. So that's fine. I'm going to mark that as acceptable. 71 meters again. So if we take out the view of the lob wedges for now, just to get a bit of an idea on dispersion, I mean, that's, that's literally fantastic. For that 80 centimeter backswing length, let's call it 80 to 85. I'm really happy with that. All right. So now we're onto the 100 centimeter backswing. Let's see how that goes. My camera is overheating. So let's hope that stays alive. Length of backswing 96 centimeters. 96, that's four down. I'm gonna, that's acceptable, I'll say. 80 meters, so 96. 104. 104, again, I was gonna say that's acceptable. We've got 80 and 84, so there's a f basically a five meter difference there between those two swings. Four centimeters either way. Let's get one in the middle. 100. Zero, zero. Right on 100. Bang on 100 and we got 82 meters. 99. Bang on 100, I'm getting dialed now. I'm really feeling this. This is getting a lot easier as I, as I go through this. All right, let's go one more. 98. Now it's, it's almost becoming automatic. 98 and I'm a couple of meters short, but Let's take a look if we get rid of everything else. So if I throw it up on screen, what you can see is that a 100 centimeter backswing for me with a 56 is a lot more accurate and a lot more consistent trying to hit that 80 meter number than trying to hit a 120 centimeter backswing length with a lob wedge. So for those guys who are using lob wedges and they're trying to hit full lob wedge shots, it might be worth doing what I'm going to be doing and getting a 56, having a shorter backswing, getting it a lot more accurate and a lot more consistent when hitting into greens. I mean, look at that, like the proof is in the pudding, really. All right, so with the camera overheating, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna get my numbers with the 52 uh, and also 120 centimeter backswing length with the 56. Then we're gonna to go to the approach section, see how we fare hitting it into a green. All right, guys, so I'm gonna throw it up there, but I hit a lot of shots. Now, what I wanna just show you is that each of these three shots here, or three groups of um, shots, are the 120 centimeter backswings. Now those 120 centimeter backswings with each club when I got to that length of distance in backswing started to show a whole lot more inconsistencies with the wedges for me personally. Um, whereas if I go back and I show you without the 120 centimeter backswings, you'll see that the dispersion is a lot tighter and that's with every single club, which is amazing because it tells me that when I'm getting to those distances, instead of trying to push a wedge further, just go up a club and go back to the 100 centimeter backswing, I'm gonna be more consistent, I'm gonna get it closer. All right, so what I've done now is my average backswing, uh, sorry, my, my average distance for a 100 centimeter backswing using a lob wedge was around about 52 meters of carry. I've got a 55 meter pin here, so I'm gonna try and do that and see how close I can get when I hit those numbers. All right, here we go, let's go. Length of backswing 90 centimeters. It's not going to make a difference if you thin it. 100. 100, and we are bang on that number. So 100 literally landed on 54, which I'll take every time. Let's go again. 97. 97, and again, look. 
Bang, so 97, we're a couple of meters shorter. 94. 94, but I pulled it. But it's still not that bad. Let's see if we can just get one more at that 100 mark. 98. 98, and look at that. Wow. I mean, that's, it says enough for itself, doesn't it? All right, if that's not dialed, then I don't know what is. Let's jump into the gap wedge now. I'm gonna do a 100 centimeter swing with a gap wedge, which gets me a carry of 95 meters, at least according to what we just did. So let's try it out. So I've got a 92 meter pin here. We're gonna try and carry this 95 with that same 100 centimeter backswing. Let's go. Length of backswing, 98 centimeters. 98 centimeters. Wow. That's a little short because I got it a bit spinny, but it's landed at 87 and come back. That's pretty good from 90, 92. Let's go. 97. 97. Look at this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, how to get your wedges dialed. Get it to whiz. 97. 97 again, and I'm on the pin again. Oh my goodness, I cannot, I actually cannot believe this. I, I should, why didn't I do this a long time? I've had this, stupid, me, why didn't I do this ages ago? 97. 97. Oh my gosh, look at this. I cannot believe that, I'm honestly speechless, like, I didn't mean to do that. That actually just fell out of my head. Love you, love you, love you. I'm, I'm honestly speechless. I mean, that is dialed. If that is not dialed, then I don't know what is. You've seen it here. Get yourself some Callaway Jaws wedges. Get yourself a DeWiz watch. Go and get your distance wedges dialed in because it will change the way that you play on course. I cannot wait to get back out on course now and do this for myself. Stop hitting massive, massively hard wedges if you don't need to, or at least work on it so you can get a more consistent strike pattern and get it closer to the hole. That's what this is about. Getting it closer with a Dewey's. Cheers guys, that's all for me today. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit a like for that because that was awesome and impressed myself, if I can be a humble bragger right now. And uh, yeah, post a positive comment, I'll get back to you and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.